head trauma affects a lot of patients in the United States and around the world. And I want to discuss a particular type of head injury called an epidural hematoma. Epidural hematomas are blood clots that form for one reason or another on the inside of the skull but outside of the covering of the brain. Usually epidural hematomas are caused from a skull fracture that injures one of the vessels underlying the bone. The typical vessel to be injured is called the middle meningeal artery. The epidural hematoma in that case can actually be from a torn artery and so is a high pressure, very urgent problem. The typical scenario for an epidural hematoma is an athlete or a patient gets hit in the head. They may lose consciousness, they may not. And then there's this period called a lucent interval where they're dazed initially, maybe they lose consciousness, but then they seem to be okay. Then the patient starts to decline. And what's happened is they've had the initial blow and then the artery starts to bleed and as it, as it accumulates blood, the patient starts to have more problems. The most significant thing about an epidural hematoma is recognizing it. If a patient has had a hit to the head and is having symptoms, it's important to check a scan and to go to an emergency room and, and look at a head CT. Especially if the patient has bruising or swelling on the side of the head. The bone here is really thin and the middle meningeal artery runs underneath the bone on the side of the head and that's the typical location for this to happen. Epidural hematomas are life-threatening and the thing that I like about them as a surgeon is surgical intervention can make a huge difference. Patients that have prompt and urgent surgical intervention can be completely normal. It's really a trauma to the skull, not so much to the brain. However, if a patient is not treated, the blood clot can eventually injure the brain and cause significant problems and even death. So in summary, epidural hematomas are a type of head injury that primarily involves the skull and bleeding that is underneath the skull but outside of the covering of the brain. In some cases, this is from an arterial blood clot and is a neurosurgical emergency. If you or a loved one has had a head injury, and especially if the symptoms start to get worse after the initial blow, it's important to seek prompt medical attention.